If you ask any New Yorker what their go-to food is, it's probably something made quick and fresh at their local deli or bodega. Today, we'll be sharing three of New York's best. Bacon, egg, and cheese, sandwiches, chopped cheese, and more. You don't want to miss it. I got Greg, native New Yorker, with me and tell everybody how important the bodega, the corner store is to New York culture. Corner store is a staple in the New York City community. Wherever you live, you have a go-to corner store. You can go there any time of day, usually late night too. Behind me, Red Hook Food Court. This is the most famous deli on the internet right now. General Ock, the owner, has three and a half million followers on TikTok, a global sensation for his crazy sandwiches. Well, you just gotta see. They even got the old school window here. I don't even have to use it. You rotate like this. That's the late night when the spa is closed. You want, you want something, they gotta get it from the back for you, put the money in, spin it. That's old school. Endless supply of Arizona here. I don't know if I've ever seen this much Arizona in one bodega before. At one point in my life, I think Arizona was like half of my blood content. <laughs> I'm Raheem Muhammad, aka General Ak. The Aki way, all different type of sandwiches. Cray of, of honey buns, pop tart, Jamaican patty, pancakes, French toast, waffles, we do it all. Seeing people from all around the world, that's a blessing. All right, we're going for one of the signatures here. Bacon, egg, and cheese with honey bun. You gotta grab whatever honey buns you want first. Yes, sir, man, how are you today? Yo, Ak, I wanna get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a honey bun. You want ice. The Aki way. The Aki way. Sure, sure. Then we crack egg. Now we gonna pour some cheese into the egg. After we pour the cheese, now we scramble it. After we scramble the egg and cheese, now we gonna hit it with the black pepper and salt. Now we pour it in the grill. Then we put the mozzarella sticks on the fryer. Once the bacon and egg is ready, now we gonna put them together. Now we put it on top of the honey bun. Get ready to go to sleep, okay? <laughs> now we wrap them up. And the result is OMG. Can't forget your bath. Never, never, never. Never, never, <laughs> never. Now we serve it to the customer. There you go, my brother. Thank you, Bobby. You're welcome. And you know we have to serve the other customer as well. Now we serve it to the customer you enjoy heck, my heck you are you will i think you could feed three people with the amount of bacon and eggs he put you saw how much bacon he put on the it's grill it's like two portions into one the bacon egg and cheese sandwich general ox done a crazy spin on it but this is the most classic new york breakfast sandwich you could do oh yeah bacon egg and cheese usually on a roll but the honey bun is also a bodega staple so you kind of combine that together the mozzarella sticks is a whole nother thing i've never heard of that before that's the aki way all right man let's let's dig let's in it. let's do it Mm. Mm. You know what does it for me? It's the honey bun. It's so soft. When you take that first bite, mm -hmm. you just get through every single layer, get all those sweet and savory flavors at once. I love that sweet and savory combination. This one with the icing on it too, adds even more sweetness, man. This is the New York bodega, like elevating the game to levels we've never seen before. This is crazy. Yeah, like I never even could have dreamed of having something like this growing up. Like bodegas, usually it was just back in the day, like bacon, egg and cheese, just simple stuff. Now some next level. This might be the best breakfast sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. I don't know. Like, it's just memorable. Typically a bacon, egg, and cheese, just a bacon, egg, and cheese. It's good, and you're done. I'm gonna remember this one for a while. I'm almost done with this Look at this guy. He's speechless. I'm loving it. Now we have a special surprise for Ben, the cameraman. And the result is OMG. Aki Ben special the Aki way. <laughs> Immediately I see that I have Fruit Loop pancake as a bun. Here we go. I'm so excited. Mmm. 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 The chopped steak, bacon, uh, tomato, lettuce, cheese, and pancake. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like breakfast and lunch on a roll. There's really no glamorous way of eating this, and that's okay because it's so good that it doesn't matter if it looks like you're making out with it. It just shows how much you love it. We got Sunny and Annie's Korean-owned deli, a staple in Alphabet City known for some outrageous sandwiches. <laughs> and I thought General Ah had a lot of choices. Look at this menu. Yeah. Yeah, one Jackie Chan. And can we do one of the fall ones on a roll? Red Hook Food Corps was a total bodega. This is a yeah. deli. Yeah, I mean, look, you got some very fancy looking cheeses and cold cuts and Greek yogurt and kombucha. Not a bodega. <laughs> but still good. We don't care. We're here for the food. This is fancy. 10.99. 
I see sriracha, avocado, mm -hmm. roast beef. What yeah, else can we have beef. going on? There's uh, basil, cilantro. There's a bee in front of me. A bee. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cilantro. There's bean sprouts. It's a lot of the ingredients of a pho, but in sandwich form. I love that creativity, and I love pho, and I love the flavors in it, so I'm very excited. So good. A bee will sting you for it. Yeah, I don't want that. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That is phenomenal. I get that hit of basil right away. I love the creativity of this. I love how in a bowl of pho you have the beef, they have the roast beef in here. It's incredible. It doesn't feel so heavy. You don't find avocado in pho, but I like it in here to add some creaminess to the roll. I will get this many times. I think this is a real gem. I mean, everything he just said, but I needed not one, not two. I needed three bites at once to get all those flavors together. I don't know wow. if you're gonna find this in too many other spots in the city. A lot of times you get deli roast beef, it just doesn't do anything for me, it's kind of bland, but yeah. this, this is different. This is better. Wow. We were saying before we even came here, I said, yeah, I'll probably take two or three bites. We're so full from General Ox Spot, but no, I, yeah. I think I'm gonna finish this somehow. Absolutely. I'm literally eating every little piece of cilantro and beans brought left over, that's how good it is. I only regret eating it too fast. Wow. Yeah, dude, you better slow down. You're gonna get a stomach ache. He scarfed it down like three minutes. It has beef bulgogi in it. And I thought that's probably the most Korean thing they have. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. I think they call this a Jackie Chan because it's got a kick to it. This is also the fastest sandwich they made. So I guess you can say that uh, they were in a rush hour. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that joke? I give it a seven out of ten. <laughs> One of the things I love best about working with Greg is he's a born and raised New Yorker, knows the city food scene and respects it as much as anyone. His food tour of Queens, I recommend it to all my viewers. They've had a fantastic time. Check out the link down below in the description. Take a tour with this man. You will not regret it. We got Harlem Taster, formerly known as Blue Sky Deli, formerly known as Haji's, which just happened to invent the chopped cheese sandwich back in the 90s. And Greg, how big is a chopped cheese sandwich to local New Yorkers? Um, see, I didn't really grow up in Queens. I heard it's more of an uptown thing, but I say in the last five, 10 years when I really started hearing about it, now it's everywhere. Now it's probably New York's most popular sandwich, I would say, along with the bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh. Man, Tropical Fantasy brings back a lot of memories. I remember these are 50 cents. I get this, bag of chips, honey bun, dollar. We got uh, three chopped cheese on Hero. Chopped cheese and eat? Yeah. With everything, right? Lettuce, tomatoes, minutes, ketchup? Just everything, yeah. Famous original. We want the famous cheese. original. All right, boss. Yeah, all the people come here to check the chopped cheese every day. We sell a lot of chopped cheese now. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. It's not every day that we get to eat a sandwich that's this popular in the city where it was invented. Today's been a special day. It's been quite it the been. food adventure. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's, let's try a classic. Mm. There's something about the way it all goes together is what I really like about it. Yeah. And uh, crispy bread. I think this, the pressing of the bread makes it extra special. I do agree. I think it's all about the ham pressed bread. I mean, hamburger meats, hamburger meat. Chopped up a little bit more finely though. Mm -hmm. And just perfected up here. I think it's probably taking it to another level. You eat this late night, have some drinks. Oh, this is like the perfect hangover food. People compare this to cheesesteak before. And while, yeah, there's some similarities there, I think these are two completely distinctive things. Definitely his own animal. Now they were out of rolls. Originally we wanted a roll, gave us a hero. I'm not complaining though. No way. I would take this over a hamburger bun any day, really. This just goes to show you the variety of sandwich styles you can get in New York. And it's been around for over 20 years. We're gonna call this the classic. And then the other ones we had today were, I don't know, I'd say almost inventions or spin-offs mm -hmm. of classic sandwiches. So you could argue this was the most normal sandwich we've had today. Yeah, I would think so, yeah. And it's like, the city is always evolving, always new food coming in and just twists on it. That's the beauty of New York City, a phenomenal food here. Food culture here is almost unmatched anywhere in the world. If you really want to eat like a local, check this video out where we eat at some of the best halal carts in New York City. Don't watch this on an empty stomach, trust me.